Well, uh, good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today. Excited to kind of talk about the ship gear Starship transition, you know, benefits of moving to Starship. Um, what's all that going to come with and kind of, I guess, roadmap for, for end of ship gear, end of life coming here at the end of the year now. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you all for, you know, you're being being loyal customers of ours and we're hoping that you see, you know, the benefits and values of Starship here. So I'm going to go through a quick presentation here and um, look forward to hearing from you after the, this uh, webinar here. Okay. So most of you know already know who VTech is and kind of who we are, but just want to kind of give you a quick, you know, little background of who VTEC is. So VTEC was founded back in 1987. Uh, many people think that Shipgear is our oldest pro product, but Starship's been around since 1989. Um, we've got over about 10,000 companies utilizing Starship, you know, to help automate their shipping and help automate the front office and kind of combine the two areas of your business. Um, we've got about 35 years of experience in various different ERP spaces. So um, a lot of you are on various different ERPs here, you know, thinking about moving to different ERPs in the future. Um, wherever that time kind of comes, we have different solutions for all that. So different ERPs that connect with Starship to have those conversations with you. Um, a lot of you are using UPS today. So um, kind of exciting to, you know, just announce that we were a UPS Ready Premier partner in 2022. So it's very exciting to have them kind of as a great partner for us and work with them closely to make sure, you know, shipping's easily done through Starship and, and getting those UPS packages out of the way there. So, so what is Starship? You know, why move to Starship? What is a multi-carrier solution like Starship? So a lot of times companies that are using a multi-carrier shipping solution often save up to 20% on shipping costs and save time across the board. So what does that mean, right? Uh, why, why can, how can Starship do that for me? So Starship can help you with cost effectiveness and be able to help you compare all of your rates between your carriers and, and services that you're currently using today that we have integrations with. So it can help you be, you know, flexible on your shipping um, with different carriers and service to help you save money on certain lanes or um, help you ship products there faster for saving a few dollars. So it helps you kind of give a, get a holistic perspective on how much you're spending from a freight spend because that's such a huge metric nowadays. Um, it also is going to save you, save you time, right? So it's going to help you eliminate the need to log into different carrier platforms. A lot of customers that come to us are using multiple LTL carriers, multiple um, parcel carriers. And when having to quote an order or set up an order with different carriers, it takes a lot of time to have to enter in all that information, set up that order, print documentation. Starship gives you the ability to kind of do that in one place. So um, can really, you know, Get, take some time to show you that too after the webinar if you want to schedule more time with us to, to have a demo there. And of course, multiple delivery services on one platform. Um, you can utilize the correct service level for specific shipments. So, you know, you can have multiple levels on one platform, whether it's, you know, UPS Ground, Express, LTL, all the different carriers and solutions that you have can all be kind of consolidated to one platform. And you can also be flexible and adaptable, right? So what does that mean? Tailoring your shipping solution based on specific needs. So, You've got certain customers who like certain carriers or receive better different carriers. We can have that kind of configured and tailored to certain lanes, certain customers, you know, certain size of orders. We can help configure those different orders that you have to be to be flexible um, with your specific carriers and services that you're using. And then, of course, you can risk um, reduce risk of delays and disruptions. Right. So say you're setting up an order and realize, oh, I need to switch carriers. I can get there quite quicker. Um, Starship, you can you know change all of your carriers inside of Starship. If you bring an order over from your ERP with a certain carrier, you can change it inside of Starship, see the different rates of those different carriers and services, and then all right back into your ERP with the correct carrier that you're shipping with. So what comes with Starship? Well, the main, oh, the main features of Starship are parcel and LTL shipping in one location, right? So instead of having you know your UPS World Ship and FedEx Ship Manager and then LTL kind of on the side, you can have UPS, um, FedEx, all your LTL in one location. So essentially you'd be getting rid of UPS World Ship or FedEx Ship Manager. Um, you get discounted USPS rates with CEC rates. So we have a great relationship with Easy Post. We can sign you up with an account with them um, to receive those CEC rates, which are which are great discounted rates that you can leverage with, with Starship here. Um, you can leverage item level detail to help automate labels and documents, right? So international documentation, bill of ladings, hazmat, all those different kind of types of documents that you're printing for those specific types of orders that you're sending out, Starship can handle all those for you um, and help kind of automate that process. Then you can simplify drop shipping with different address IDs inside of Starship. Of course, you have your live rate shop. 
where you can kind of get a grip, a grip on your um, freight spend and really to be able to kind of see, you know, where you can save some money and where you can kind of be flexible with your shipping, shipping rates there. Then of course, customize email notifications. So once an order is shipped out of Starship, Starship will send an email notification to your customer, just thanking them for the order, sending them tracking information, sending them what's in the specific order, kind of helping, you know, the, the customer service team kind of get back to their, their job without having to send those emails can be a timely process. Starship can help automate that. And as I've mentioned a few times, metrics inside of Starship's metrics is such a huge kind of aspect in everyone's business nowadays, especially with freight spend, trying to save money where you can. Um, Starship gives you the ability to kind of see, you know, heavy traffic lanes that you're shipping, areas you're shipping to, carriers you're shipping to most. So you can take those metrics to the carriers you're working with. Um, and really kind of have those conversations to ask them, hey, how can I get a better discount to this area? We're shipping a lot to the Northeast. You know, what can you do for me there? So it's really helped to just grab, get a grip on your whole shipping aspect as a whole. So here's just a quick look of the various ERPs, um, inventory management, w WMS as we work with, EDI solutions that we work with. So if there's ever a time where you're looking to add, you know, EDI or WMS or you're looking to switch ERPs, we have a lot of you know, partnerships and, and ERPs that we work with to, you know, help facilitate that process for you so you can stay with Starship and continue to utilize Starship uh, across your business there. So why move to the cloud? So what comes with cloud? You know, why is it going to be valuable? So Starship's always going to be on the latest version for you. There's no waiting for a release. There's no waiting for that update to come every month um, for you to have to then download that update. Starship will update automatically for you. You're going to have access to all of our parcel carriers, all of our LTL carriers. Uh, so you're not having to buy those uh, a la carte like you would for on-premise. So you have access to all of them. If you ever decide to add a carrier down the road, um, it's always good to have, you know, multiple eggs in your basket instead of just kind of limiting one carrier. And then, of course, you have unlimited users. So you can have unlimited users with Starship to have different permissions with those specific users. So you can have your shipping team just shipping permissions. You can give, you know, reporting permissions to anyone, you know, upper level who needs to see metrics on how you're shipping, you know, how much you're spending. And then, of course, you can have admin rights for someone who can get the whole plethora of, you know, options inside of Starship there. And, of course, it's going to help you reduce your IT expenses. So no more having to upgrade or maintain a Starship server or ship your server. Everything is going to be hosted in our Microsoft Azure cloud. And then you also are able to manage seasonality with different tiered pricing. So our pricing with cloud is based off of volume and the different tiers that you're currently shipping or different tiers that kind of revolve around volume. And um, it's good for shippers who maybe be heavy in the summer months and kind of slower in the winter and fall months. You can kind of adjust your pricing as needed with the, the changing of tiers to help save some money during those heavy months and slower months. Here's just a quick view of the parcel and LTL carriers that we are working with. Um, you're also going to notice some 3PLs on here. So um, if you're looking at this list and thinking, you know, I don't see a carrier that I work with, let us know what that carrier is or, or let us know, hey, I work with these carriers that it doesn't look like you're integrated with. That doesn't mean we can't work with you. It just means you have to have a different process is what we call our BOL module. Um, or with some user-defined parcel carriers there that you can still, you know, print documentation. You won't be able to rate shop from that, but you'll still be able to utilize those carriers or, or utilize them flowing through Starship to, you know, keep everything in one location. Um, and then if there's ever a time where you're looking for, you know, a 3PL kind of integration where you want a lot of carriers at your disposal, we can introduce you to our contacts over those certain 3PLs to help facilitate that conversation for you. So I just want to give you a quick customer testimony, uh, testimonial from Blackwater Creek here. Um, streamlining shipping logistics is crucial. Originally, this customer chose ShipGear to eliminate inefficiencies in duplicate data entry between their accounting software and the UPS and FedEx systems. As their business began to grow and diversify into other products, they upgraded to Starship. The owner pointed out, as we expanded into bigger box distributors that purchased pallet loads of product at any time, we were doing a lot more ground freight and needed shipping software that could interface with more carriers and manage more complexity. Um, so just kind of a quick tidbit of a customer that went from ship to Starship and they saw the value of having Starship, you know, kind of consolidate all their different services, service levels, carriers they're currently using into one, one solution to bring it all kind of in that one aspect of their whole, you know, front end, back end, warehouse, all kind of connected in one location to make shipping more automated and more efficient across, across the company there. So uh, just a quick little tidbit about from Blackwater Creek. 
Here's a quick little look at the dashboard and metrics and reports that come out of the box with Starship. So um, a popular one that our customers like to see is this heat map here. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the metrics and, and utilizing that to go to your carriers and say, hey, how can you get me a better discount here? So you can kind of go to UPS or FedEx and say, hey, I'm shipping heavily in the Northeast here. How can you get me a better discount to that area? Um, it can show your top five customers so you can see which uh, carriers or top five carriers. You can see which carriers you're shipping with most. So you can utilize that data as well. Top five customers that you can kind of see who's buying from you more, who you're shipping to most. So it gives you a holistic view of shipping uh, kind of at any time you need to see that inside of Starship. Here's just a quick look at what it looks like inside of Starship with the live rate shop. So this is an order that came in here. You're going to see down at the bottom, it's just a quick snippet of how Starship can give you, you know, lists of carriers and services that you're working with kind of in a nice, you know, tailored way to show you the cheapest you can filter it from quickest delivery time or cheapest rate. However you want to look at that, you can, you can have it set to where Starship will make the decision for you. Um, so we call best case shipping to where Starship right off the bat will pick, you know, cheapest carrier or quickest delivery. So your team's not having to spend time doing that if you don't want them to, or you can have them say, Hey, we're going to rate shop every order pick the cheapest carrier, look at the different rates and services that we have from our portfolio and make the best decision for the specific order that we're shipping out there. Again, here's a live look at kind of what it looks like to rate shop for LTL. Um, you see you just, by reusing our Worldwide Express interface here, um, it's just giving us all the different LTL carriers that are available through Worldwide Express or it would be all the LTL carriers that you're currently using that we have integrations with. It just gives you kind of a look of, you know, different transit times, different charges that they have so you can make that right decision for the specific lane you're shipping with and what works best for you and your company during that specific order. Here's a quick look at a packing label um, that we have inside Starship. Starship comes with a lot of labels and packing slips out of the box that you can utilize. Um, we can print your UPS and FedEx documentation just like you're currently doing today. Um, if there's ever a time where you need you know, custom documentation, we can always have that conversation with our development team as well to make sure that you're getting the documents correctly needed and printed from Starship as you're shipping and processing orders every day. And as I mentioned earlier, custom email notifications come with Starship. So here's a look at what an email notification could look like coming from Starship. So you can have your logo up here, any verbiage you want going out to your customers saying, hey, thank you for your order. Here's the order coming on the way. It gives you the tracking links here for your customer to be able to click on see when their package is going to be there so they're not calling you saying, hey, where's my package? Um, I don't see any information here. You know, no one sent me anything. So it just kind of helps automate the process of sending out all the emails to your customers with all the tracking links. Starship can help automate that for you and really streamline that process for you and your business there. So last thing here is don't let the time run out. So um, now that ship gears, you know, on the horizon of being end of life with about, you know, two months left towards the end of here, end of the year here, um, there's a lim limited integration with ship gear. So there's no more bug fixes, no more enhancements currently going on. We still have about 500 customers using ship gear who need to migrate. So um, we're expecting a lot of those to come over towards the last two months here to really take advantage of Starship. We're currently experiencing about 15 plus week backlog in our project queue. So um, shipping into or booking late into 15 weeks out, um, we're expecting that to increase and more customers coming over. So it's better to get on the schedule now, right? It's better to kind of get in touch with your account executive, have that conversation, um, get moving with that project so you're not left behind, you're not stuck kind of with a shipping solution that's being end of life and you're ready to get on the Starship. Um, we also have our promotional pricing that's going to be changing soon. We have current promotions that are um, that I'll mention here in a second that are ending at the end of the month, and we're not sure what the promotions are going to look like towards the end of the year here. So it's best to go ahead and get the pricing locked in now, get ready to move over to Starship and get on that schedule with our project team. Really excited to have further conversations with you and talk to you about moving over to Starship, so I appreciate you all joining today.